Hey guys, Metal Driver here bringing you another WWE Elite review. Today, I'll be looking at Series 80, Kyle O'Reilly. Looking at the sides of the box, you see an image of Kyle O'Reilly on both sides. The back of the box features an image of Kyle O'Reilly, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Bio includes from Vancouver, British Columbia, weight 200 pounds, and standing in at 6 feet tall. Career highlights include NXT Tag Team Champion and the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winner. The description states representing the undisputed era bobby fish and kyle o'reilly are the most formidable tag team in nxt and that's undisputed all right now that we have looked at the box let's go ahead and open this figure up and take a closer look at kyle o'reilly all right and here is kyle o'reilly out of the packaging but first let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with so he comes with two interchangeable hands which are stylized so that he could do his undisputed era gesture he also comes with the NXT Tag Team Championship belt, which is perfect because if you purchase the Elite 79 Bobby Fish, now you have two belts to go with your tag team. And then the final piece of accessory that he comes with is this Undisputed Era shirt. Now it is a plastic shirt. I'm not the biggest fan of these type of shirts. I prefer the soft goods. However, this one is okay. It's better than the ones that have the straps on the side. This one has it on the back. So I do prefer that, but still. I would have much rather preferred a soft goods one. The lettering on the back is really good. It says shock the system. Then it has the names of the members of Undisputed Era. Then on the front, the paint came out pretty well for the most part with the exception of right here on the letter P. Seems to be missing a little bit of paint there, but other than that, the line work looks pretty good. And it is the exact same shirt that came with Bobby Fish. And then this shirt is easily removable. You just remove the straps here, or I should say the pegs, and then shouldn't be that difficult to take this off. Alright then, taking a look at the head sculpt, it's pretty good. Sculpt work looks really good on the face, expression is good, the eyes are painted pretty well, the, so are the eyebrows and the facial hair. Now it does appear to be that mine has eyes that are a bit off-centered, at least that's what it looks like to me, I could be wrong. But it does look a bit off. But other than that, the paint is pretty good. The hair looks good. It's actually sculpted pretty well. It's not just some smooth head sculpt with painted hair. So I like how there's sculpt work here. So really well done on that. So that looks good. Then looking at the body, it's a pretty standard body figure. It's not too buff, not too ripped. But I think it's a good style for Kyle O'Reilly. Then he does have his tattoo here on the left side of his rib cage. So the lettering came out really well. So it says, Fortis Edifice. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But the band work looks pretty good. Then he's got his armband here with the Undisputed Era logo. And it looks like it's not painted perfectly. You can see that the logo is going a bit off of the black armband. And then looking at Bobby Fish's, you can see that that's better done. Then his wrist tape is painted with white. Looks pretty good for the most part. I like how the fingers are taped up as well. Same thing with this hand. Then look at the trunks, he's got the camo design. So again, this goes really well with Bobby Fish with that design, unless you have the Chase version, which does not have the camo design. The Undisputed Era logo looks really well painted. Lines look crisp, so pretty good for the most part. Same thing with the camo design. Same thing on the back. It's overall good paint. He's got a, some yellow right here. There is some black seeping through. So they could have used an extra coat of paint there. Looking at the back of the knee pads, it still has that camo design. Same thing here, but on this knee pad, you've got the yellow. So to go along with the yellow stripe here. And then you can see that there's some black seeping through as well. Then looking at the front of the knee pads, again, same camo design. You've got the Undisputed Era logo here, which is painted very well. they have got KO for his initials. That's painted well. All right, then look at the boots. You've got silver pads here. So that looks really good. I like that color. And then the camo looks good. Got these designs here, pretty well painted. Got O'Reilly here on the side. Some nice line work, nice detail, so I like how that's done. Then on this side you have the Undisputed Era logo. So really well done, so pretty good overall. Paint is really good on this figure. And then I did want to note, for some reason mine, at the bottom of the foot, you can see here that the sole of the foot is not fully on the actual figure. So that's a bit odd. I've actually never had that happen to me before. So you can see that on this foot, the right foot, doesn't have that issue. So it looks like I'm gonna have to fix that using some heat. So hopefully by heating up the plastic, I can kind of push this back in. But other than that, pretty solid looking figure. 
paintwork is really good, head sculpt is good. All right, then going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it can't look that high up, can look that far down. So not a whole lot of range there. Can turn side to side and it can tilt. Shoulders have a hinge which allow it to go that high up. Can rotate all the way around. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, swivel and hinge at the wrist. He has an ab crunch which allows him to go that far forward and that far back. He has a waist swivel which is slightly loose but not too terrible. Ball joints at the hips which allow the legs to go that far out. It can go that high up. There is a thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot. Ankles have a hinge which allow it to go that high up, that far down, and he does have some slight ankle pivot. All right, and here is Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly next to Elite 79 Bobby Fish with their matching camo gear. All right, so what are my thoughts on Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly? I think it's a pretty solid figure. I really don't have much complaints about it. I think it looks pretty good. His head sculpt is really great. He comes with some pretty good accessories. And if you purchased Elite 79 Bobby Fish, then this figure would look great next to it. My only small complaint would be the lack of a butterfly joint, but that's to be expected. None of the Elites have that. In fact, none of the Ultimate Edition figures have that. But I say that because you can't really do his undisputed era pose so even though they give you the interchangeable hands for it you can't really pull it off so this is one of those figures that would greatly benefit from a butterfly joint so that way you can properly do that pose but that is a minor gripe I don't think that's enough for you to skip out on this figure especially if you're a fan of undisputed era or if you're a fan of NXT I think this is definitely a solid figure that you should pick up so if you like this review go ahead and hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe so you can see more WWE elite reviews Follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.